And I'd like to introduce you to uh, Zoltan Chair, uh, who will take uh, us to the world of uh, Buddhism from the sentience and uh, consciousness point of view. He was born in Budapest, Hungary in 1970. He started to practice in a Buddhist Chan community at the age of 16 to become a monk in 1992. Later on, he enrolled at the University of Economics, uh, but after two years, he decided to continue his studies at the newly founded Dharmagate Buddhist College in Budapest. In 2004, he returned to the Dharmagate College as a lecturer, teaching Buddhist ethics, meditation techniques, Buddhist liturgy and breathing methods, as well as to organize and lead Buddhist ceremonies. In 2003, Zoltan began to practice in the international Dzogchen community under the guidance of Churjel Namkoy Norbu Rinpoche. In 2010, he became a Vajra dance and Yantra yoga instructor in the international Dzogchen community. Between 2008 and 2016, he served as the vice rector of education at the Dharma Gate Buddhist College. He accepted, he was accepted as a doctoral student at the Alte University Budapest in partnership with the International Buddhist Studies College in Thailand. He became the director of the Dharmagit Buddhist College and since 2020, he serves again as the vice rector. His main focus of research is in the various meditation techniques of Buddhism, why he enjoys leading regular Buddhist retreats, teaching online and in person. So over to you, dear Zoltan. Thank you very much. And also the Laszlo Institute and also especially for Georgie. Uh, so many things about me. So <laughs> let's talk about Buddhism. So to uh, realize what is uh, sentient or what, what is uh, conscious being, it's a little bit difficult. So we try our journey from the starting point. What is the aim of Buddhist practice? So whenever we talk about any spiritual aim, it's uh, very good if we just consider what, is, uh, what this uh, practice should eliminate and what kind of things should develop. So first, let's see what is the elimination part. In Buddhism, Buddhist teaching, the, the main focus of elimination is to reduce suffering. And uh, actually, there are three kinds of suffering, three levels of suffering. So, so one is reduction, reduce something, reduce the suffering, which means that we are trying to reduce the out of balance state. So we try to be in the center. That is one way of uh, uh, consideration of suffering is out of the center. The other one is uh, to solve problems because usually our problems are, are something we are trying to do continuously, but something obstacle comes and we solve these obstacles. And then the third one is uh, about uh, going beyond. So when we say reduce or, or eliminate suffering, we reduce, solve, and go beyond the limitations, the limitations of body, speech, and mind, we say the three gates. And then the first question is, yes, it's beautiful, but how we do this? And what is interesting in Buddhism that uh, to solve suffering, we have to eliminate the causes of suffering. So this is the, the very interesting way of explaining karma. And that is the aim in Buddhism when we talk about karma, to discover that all our problems has a proper cause. And when we eliminate the cause, then of course the result is also eliminated. So we say that our mind, and then now we turn to our mind, has four main clouds or veils and the first one is judgment. So when we try to reduce suffering, solve problems, or go beyond limitation, what is uh, the first thing we have to discover that our mind is always in a process of judgment and to go beyond this judgment, go beyond this process of mind, which is looking always outside and then to uh, make like boxes of good and bad. So we always have this process of uh, judgment and the second one is the negative emotions, negative emotions like attachment, jealousy, hatred, and so on, which is uh, causing uh, harm always. So the so third one is uh, identification, mistaken identification. Usually we are uh, identify ourselves with the different 
roles like I am a mother, I am a father, I am, I am this, I'm a teacher, I am that, I am that. that. That, of course, has a function, but ultimately, ultimately, and that is why it was interesting to hear my different uh, <laughs> so, history. It's not, not the real one. Not, it's not me. It's not me. It's just an identification. And then, of course, the, the subtlest level of, uh, of uh, whales, the mind is like, like shading our mind, the radiance of our mind is ignorance. Ignorance is usually we talk about duality. So it's interesting to reflect back uh, the father's teaching or, or that uh, duality is really just the last moment or last uh, whale when we are really talking about uh, the problem of duality and what to attain. Usually we say in English realization, but it's uh, sometimes a little bit obscure that what is realization, what we realize. So realization means that we are attaining ultimate freedom. Why? Because we have limitations. We attain unchanging happiness. Why? Because we have uh, suffering and we attain what we call primordial wisdom. We attain wisdom. Why? Because we don't understand the purpose in our life. So all this kind of realization has a proper uh, cause. And then how we do this, this is the key is uh, to discover the middle path, the middle way. And the middle way has three aspects, the proper ethic to develop, what we develop, proper ethic, we develop concentration. So it means that one point in meditation to be present, this is, this is very important to be present. And then when we are really, uh, present or fundamentally we, we can be one pointed then we can see reality we can see how things are changing we can see the nature of uh, the different phenomena and also the nature of mind so this is this is the aim of uh, buddhism so when we go on so we actually we are searching for reality but uh, it's very similar to the scientific way to, way to search reality, but, but there are also different uh, points. So to reduce the veils, the shadows, the clouds of our minds, and when we reduce it, it slowly, slowly, we discover what is reality. So it's like, uh, like opening, opening, opening process to clearly see what is reality. When we are discovering reality, actually we are discovering our mind. We discover our heart. We can say because in Asia, usually the heart and mind is the same, same term, same word. We are not using different theories and not using different tools like in science, because actually in scientific approach is like, uh, like philosophy is like more using the, the theoretical aspect of uh, discovering reality. And also the scientific approach is using different tools to, to discover reality. But we are using direct perception. It means subjectively we are trying to discover reality. So not objectively. And we are using logic. So this is the two of our tools, what we use when we are trying to discover reality, direct perception and logic. It's called Anumana and Pratyaksha in Sanskrit. For that, we need meditation and first of all, we need concentration methods to calm the mind. Sometimes there is a like kind of a similar, similar similarity that when there is a wind, then the flame is over. So we need a very, very calm mind to reflect, to reflect what is reality. So that is why we need meditation. So reality is... Uh, can be discovered in the mirror of mind. And now we are closer and closer the definition of what is mind, because we have also this, uh, the purposes to discover what is consciousness, what is sentience. So the way, how we do this, the way is from outside to inside. So we are trying to understand the outer phenomena and then we turn inside. Usually when we start meditation, we close our eyes because we have to turn inside. It also means that uh, the way is from the many to the one. So we start to discover many things, like also the part of the body and also the different emotions. But it's more and more simple. When we turn inside, we are from the many, we go to one. Usually when we talk about uh, experiencing something, then you, uh, the, uh, actually we are considering who is experiencing something and what. 
But in Buddhism, it doesn't care. It doesn't care about who and doesn't care what, but how is the key term. So we don't, don't care about, so we really, there is no sense to talk about that who is experiencing. Of course, there are some teachings, but that is, that is not the main focus of uh, experiencing or discovering reality. And we don't uh, deal much with the uh, objects of the mind, but we are dealing with the process. How is we are, how we experience something. So that is the most important way to discover how we experience uh, reality. And then of course, there are three levels. We can uh, talk about how we experience. We can talk about the levels, different levels of mind, but actually not, is, not that one is our focus. Focus, for example, level of uh, concentration, level of judgmental mind, level of, uh, of dreaming mind, there are different level. Even the, even the Bardo state of mind is a different level, but we don't uh, go into this uh, direction. And also we don't talk about the process of mind. So how, for example, a dream is manifesting when we are sleeping, but we can focus to understand what is uh, consciousness, what is uh, sentience. We can focus on what is the function of mind, the different uh, functions of mind. So that is uh, our way to understand. There is a teaching in Apidhamma. It's Apidhamma is uh, the higher teaching. Dhamma means uh, all phenomena and Api means the higher teaching of uh, phenomena, where we can find that actually in every moment we have seven functions of our mind. And uh, we can compare these seven functions of mind with a crystal. So the first one is called Passa, which means that every time our mind is contacting, there is contact. Passa means in, in Pali contact. And uh, we have also Vedana. So when we have contact with any object, then we have always something feeling. So, and then comes perception. Sanya means that our mind is always trying to identify what we are uh, connected, what we are feeling. So we identify the phenomena. And then through identification, we have chetana. It means that we have volition. We have something uh, like we are responding, response of, um, of anything. Also can be uh, something facial muscle. The response also can be verbal or also can be like um, action, something. So we have this uh, volition is chetana. And uh, in any time, our mind is one pointed. So we are always uh, looking to somewhere. We are always, but many many uh, like judging, not, not judging, but jumping. The mind is always jumping. So that is why when we do meditation, we try to keep the concentrated mind for long, as long as possible, to really have this possibility to go into the one-pointed mind. So if you see the crystal, for example, the one-pointedness is the pinpoint on the peak of the crystal. And then also the volition is uh, when you see the, the different points, how they are, they are in the crystal, also the the, the contact or, or the perception can be like the mirror facade of the uh, crystal. So we can identify the different functions of our mind with the different aspect of the crystal. And then there is uh, Jivat Indriya, which is a very mysterious term, which is a life force. Of course, in our mind, in every minute, uh, there is uh, also the function of life force because everything is in continuous movement. And there is a force which is moving all these functions. And then the last one is called Manasikara, which is kind of attention and kind of uh, also understanding. So these seven are the moment, in every moment we have these seven different functions in, in our mind. So when we talk about sentience and consciousness, actually we are talking about these seven different functions. And also it's interesting because when we talk about meditation, we can identify which one when we are like concentration is uh, one pointedness, or we have also loving kindness meditation is connected to feeling. We have uh, like uh, meditation on different outer like sensory object that is contact. So we can identify which kind of meditation is uh, connected to which function of our mind. So when we see from the seven, the sentience, different sentience and the consciousness, then, we can say that attention 
or understanding is connected to the three times. So when we understand something is the past, present, and future, usually some situation connected to the three times. And then volition is connected to concept of future. So when we have some idea, when we have some, uh, we have uh, like a destiny we have in our mind. So it's connected to the future. And then, uh, of course, perception uh, is like a mirror, is connected to our memories, so it's connected to past. So in this uh, field of uh, like seven function, the three aspect which is connected to consciousness is like in a, in a prison of three times. So it's very interesting from this viewpoint that consciousness is uh, in the time frame. So we have the past, present, and future, and what is interesting that the other four, which is connected to sentience, so, so like feeling, experiencing reality is beyond these three. So when we have, we say contact, sensory fields, then it's connected to present moment, also the feeling. We cannot have feeling in the past, in the future. We can have feeling just in the present moment. Also one pointedness can be just in the present moment. Also this uh, life force, is connected to the present moment. So what is interesting for me that uh, if we talk about like consciousness and sentience, sentience, it seems it's a higher, higher level of uh, beings. It's interesting because of course we have also consciousness. In our mind, there are this consciousness aspect, but it's all connected to the three times. And these three times, the past and the, and the future are all concepts. It's all on the conceptual level. But the sentiency, so feeling reality, is all connected to the present moment. So what is interesting, if we are developing uh, meditation, then um, this seven aspect is transforming into enlightened aspect. So that's, that's interesting that there are some logical uh, schemas or frames in Buddhism. So this seven is transforming is the so-called seven factors of enlightenment. It's called um, the Sapta Bojanga in uh, Pali. And the first one is mindfulness. So it's the term is Sati or Smriti, which is actually the transformation of memory. And uh, sometimes it's called that when somebody is attaining the enlightened quality of uh, mindfulness, that is the awareness of reality. So we try to uh, clo closer and closer we attain reality. So the second one is called the Dhamma Vichaya, which is the investigation of the nature of reality. So it's, it means that the first one is the awareness of reality. The second one is uh, understanding of the nature of reality. So it's connected to wisdom. And then the Virya is a determination or effort effort for realization of the reality. And then of course, uh, the transformation of the consciousness or, or uh, sentiency is joy. So the mind is starting to be very joyful one. Then the fifth one is tranquility. So it's the mind starting to be very flexible, body and mind. And then comes the full concentration, samadhi. It's clear awareness of reality. And the last one is equanimity, Upeksha equanimity, which is, uh, uh, it's, it's, it is said that accept reality as it is. So at the end, if we go through the journey of uh, the understanding what is the purpose of the Buddhist teaching or practice of meditation, and we understand the crystal, understanding the seven functions of our mind, then we can understand also what is realization, these seven aspects of enlightenment, and at the end, we arrive to reality. That is the last word. <laughs> so my answer is to understand what is sentient being or, or uh, conscious being, then we should discover reality. And then uh, we can understand also the, how we feel reality and how we think about reality. Thank you very much. Sultan, that was uh, a wonderful a set of reflections and a guidance uh, for us as well to be able to understand some of these paths of how do we human well from the Buddhist perspective.